Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amun Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can perform a long press gesture on an element. So, so we have covered tap and double tap in the previous videos. If you are directly checking this video, I highly recommend you to watch those videos to understand what is sequence class, how we perform a sequence of events, uh, so that this this video will be uh, much simpler to understand, right? So I will leave those video uh, links in the description as well. So now let's say previously we were using this, uh, you know, demo uh, our app from Source Labs, but it doesn't have uh, capability to test long press events. So what I did was I basically downloaded the API demos uh, app from the internet. Anyways, I'll push all this code into the GitHub so you can find these apps from there. But again, you can also search in Google like API demos debug app, and then you could find this from APM uh you know project itself so you can find from apm github as well so this particular app i want to launch it so so i use the same code uh like in the previous session but just that in the app session app section i just replaced it with the new app so ap demos or apk file so this particular code will launch the app and then what i want to do is after launching this app um so the app will look something like this i have to click on views and then i have to click on expandable list, I have to click on custom adapter, and then I have to long press this. Okay, if I just press, it will expand it. So I have to basically long press this so that I can see this menu, right? So this is what I'm going to do in order to test this long press. So I have returned the exports already. These are all very simple exports to write. So after coming to this custom adapter, um, I have just found the element, okay? I have found the element people names, Again, you might not see any waiting strategies here because I have started my APM server with element weight plugin. So, so I don't have to apply any sort of weights. It is handled at the server side and not from the client side. So now I have the element, but I want to do a long press on it. So how do I do it? So in the last video, uh, we have seen how to perform tabs and all that. So just copy the tab. Okay, this is the tab method that we have seen. So what I'm going to do is first rename this to long press. And then here, so first we will find the center of the element, center of the element, and then we will uh, have our finger initialized, and then we will perform a sequence of events with our finger. Uh, first one is we will move our finger uh, to the center of the element. We will point down our finger. That means we will press the uh, mobile, and then we will wait for 200 milliseconds, and then we will lift it. So 200 milliseconds is very fast, so it will perform like a tap. So once, instead of this, what I can do is I can make this of seconds and then I can just wait for one second. Now, this becomes a long press. If you press for one second, it's, it's long. Even you can say press for two seconds, which means it will wait for two seconds. So, so this becomes a long press, right? So what I have to do is call this long press method and pass the driver and the element. So yeah, so now it should basically uh come you know come like this so let's close the app uh, and then let's try to run the test and then see what it happens so this is one of the way to perform a long press there is also a simpler way which i will cover next but but first let let's make sure this works they launch the app click down everything and now it has to do a long press yes it does so we can see this menus so it is working absolutely fine so apart from this uh sequence class there is a simpler way using the actions class that is also possible. Um, so you, you can call uh, new actions and then pass the driver. And then you can say click and hold and you can pass which element to hold. And then you perform this whole sequence of actions. Uh, this also will work. You can do long press either by using the actions class or by using the sequence class, whatever that feels comfortable to you, you can use that, right? So yeah, it should work. So I will see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye bye from Amazon. Bye.